Hi again, Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. This is video number 20 in the Quick Start video series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do something with a tool called the Layer Tool. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on the Layer Tool because it does a number of things. Instead, this video is about how to use the Layer Tool for a very specific task. There are other Layer Tool videos you should watch because the Layer Tool does a number of things. In fact, it may surprise you how versatile and helpful this tool is. But I, again, I'm going to use it to do one very common thing, and that is to make a footer. So the layer tool, like anything else, is just a tool you click on and you drag out onto the canvas in any shape you want to, really. It can be square or along a rectangle. Since I'll be using it as a footer, I'm going to do it at the bottom of the page and I'm going to make it a, a different shape than this. But I just want to quickly tell you what a layer is. So a layer is basically a container of multiple objects. So we can put other objects inside this container, like you would a form if you've used forms. And everything inside this container is sort of grouped together, belongs together. We can move it all in one, um, in one movement. They all stick together. But that's not the only thing that makes a layer unique. It's unique in its coding behind the scenes. It's unique in that it can be relatively sized. And a lot of other things, like I said, you would see in some of the other videos about the layer tool. Another thing I would encourage you to do is to go to the help file up in the 90 second website builder menu. Let me move the camera up so you can see there's a help menu right here. And you can look up uh, the layer tool and see what it does. And it again, it's a very important tool slightly advanced but it does do a number of wonderful things what I'm gonna do with it is not very advanced we're going to just make a footer with the layer tool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let's bring it down here I'm gonna move the page toward the bottom here and we're gonna make a footer for our magic trick website and so the shape I'm gonna make it is gonna be oh something like this we'll see how it goes so when I draw a, f a layer out onto the canvas this is sort of the default color and condition that it's in but of course I can do other things with it like you would expect anything I can double click on it and then affect that there's a style tab so we can change the background color and all of the things that you would expect including a border and radius etc there's even a shadow effect and we can trigger a layer with events which again is an advanced uh, technique which we won't go into here under the general tab is just basically the settings for the layer which we'll get into here in a minute because these are pretty important for what we're going to do all right so if i wanted to make a footer for my website the layer tool makes it easy for two reasons one i can keep everything in one container so if i want to move it around i can move it together but i can also do something with a layer tool i can't do with anything else and that is i can make a repeating background with my layer and uh, that will make it look much better. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this particular demo is I've already pre-made some objects I'm going to put in my footer. So I'm going to have a little, uh, we'll say a little logo here. And I'm going to put some text in my footer, which is kind of the name of my website. Maybe a little copyright text. And I happen to make a little menu because it's a good idea to have a, a menu at the bottom of your website. I used the uh, text menu tool for this. So that, here's a real simple little footer. You know, you might have your name and address and your copyright and maybe your terms of service. That's another thing that would be good to put down here. You've seen this at the bottom of websites where they put kind of their legal jargon and, and contact information and stuff like that. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make this a simple footer. And in fact, I'm going to make it a little bit narrower here like this. Let's bring this up. Uh, by the way, you'll notice when I drug objects into the layer, it highlighted. See how that blue highlight happens? That means that object is now inside the layer. So if I was to take this object and place it here, it's actually not in my layer. Because when I go to move my layer, you'll see it's not connected. It has to be inside as soon as the blue highlight hits. Boom, now we're inside the layer. And that's really important to note. Just like a lot of objects, that, uh, like a form object works the same way. So here's my layer. Now, one thing that I'm going to do, I'll show you a little trick. It, you can see that the layer is sort of an off-white. It's almost a light gray. But the image that I put here is, is white, and I don't really like that white box around there. So here's a little trick that I can fix that with. I like to make my layer match this white so that my logo blends in a little bit better. Here's how I do that. I just double-click on the layer, and I'm going to go to Style, and where the color is selected here, Rather than select one of these, I'm going to go to More Colors, 
pick up this little eyedropper tool and I'm going to pick up the color of this logo right here which should be a pure white but just to make sure I'm picking up the exact color say OK say OK and now look my layer uh, background matches this image so it blends in a little bit better anyway and in fact I can maybe kind of move this down like this maybe I'll make my footer a little bit more narrow Anyway, that's how that works. Now, let me show you a couple of tricks with this. First of all, we can hit F5, and you can see what the footer is going to look like. I'll scroll down to the bottom here, move the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Way down here at the bottom of my website is my layer. Now, the problem is, as you can see, is that two, two problems. One, it sits at the very bottom of the page. I've got no space down here. And also, it just kind of cuts off at, in the middle of the page here. I want this to... Um, flow infinitely across my footer just like the header does you know the header up here you see how this has this infinite background like I showed you in another video I'd like to do that with my footer so we're gonna do that right now and here's how we do it I'm gonna double click on the layer and you'll see that I have a little thing here called relative horizontal sizing and this is great because what this does is this allows me to basically create an infinite background with the footer. So I'm just checking that box and clicking OK. Now, another thing I have to do to make this work, and this is really important, and I'm going to move the camera so you can see this a little bit better. I have to stretch my layer all the way past the ruler. You can see at the top, my ruler ends at about 960 pixels. Well, the layer needs to go beyond that just somewhat. So I'm, I'm beyond it, just you know a few pixels right here. Also, have to make sure that my layer is all the way up against the left edge, so I don't have any gaps right here. I can't have a gap. It needs to be all the way against the left edge. It needs to hang over on the ruler. Now, once I've done that, um, I, you'll see what I mean by an infinite background. I'm going to hit F5, and we're going to go look at it down here. I'm going to move the camera so you can see. And now you can see that my footer actually goes all the way across infinitely no matter how big I stretch my browser this footer will be down here but we've got a problem don't we you'll see how my logo is way over here my website is centered but my footer is not it's okay we can fix that too I'm gonna shut down the preview we're gonna double click and remember that we chose relative horizontal sizing we can also choose the alignment to be center and that will fix that problem I'm gonna hit F5 again you can see it's looking much better now when we go down to the footer look everything lines up so now my footer is centered it also is infinitely stretching across the uh, background web page and it's looking good but what I don't like is how it sits against the bottom of the browser window I want some space down there so I'm gonna add a little space now there's a lot of ways you can do this you can just put an object down there if you want to I could put some text down here and that would move things up but what I like to do to create empty space is I use a little trick here with a tool called the content placeholder here it is right here uh, in fact it's near the layer tool content placeholder which is just an empty object just create a box and what it does is it creates some empty space because the height of your web page is always going to be to the bottom pixel of the bottom object so if this object is down here at let's say somewhere around 1300 pixels now my website's going to be 1300 pixels tall and it will have created this empty space right here uh, on my site so let's look and see what that did I'm gonna hit F5 and let's see what we've got I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page there we go now you can see my footer is infinite it stretches beyond the browser width also here's the space I created with a content placeholder and everything is centered so even if I stretch my browser or in this case shrink it see how it's relative so it's the footer stays centered with the rest of the website and that's really really important to know how to do so that's just one of the uses again just one of the uses for a layer tool but a footer is a common object and so it's a great way for you to know how to use the layer tool watch the other layer tool videos and you'll see some really great tricks you can do with a layer tool besides just making a footer that should help you make a nice bottom edge to your website in 90 second website builder